G'day from Down Under. Uh, just to put a face to a voice, um, I'm currently working on a new device and I just thought I'd introduce a video on that. It's an overload protection device for a probe stylus. If you look at my YouTube channel, Thread Express, you'll see a series of about seven videos um, investigating this probe. It's actually a this particular version is a Tourmark passive probe and a really useful device but there is a problem with it. The uh, stylus, the 2mm ceramic stylus is too flexible and um, I've done a series of tests. If you look at the videos you'll see this particular setup uh, with digital scales and a dial indicator. I was able to measure the flex of that probe and that probe has a flex of between 2 thou and 4 thou, if we're going to use Imperial, and that is between the two different directions. So let me try and demonstrate this here. Where are we here? The two different directions, or, or, the, or the various different directions of the internal swing arm. So that's, that's de de deflecting it out of contact and um, in, in both the X and Y plus and minus directions and you can actually feel the uh, swing arms breaking away at different pressures and I've measured that and I know in one direction it's about 140 grams and in another direction it's about 110 grams and that's a problem because this long flexible stylus bends about 4 thou in one direction with one load and about 2 thou in the other direction so that you can't use it as it is for accurate work. So this is just a quick summary. So I've made a, a stiffer stylus which has a 3mm carbide uh, shank and a 4mm ball um, and, it, and it completely solves the problem. It's uh, well, 90% solves the problem. It's very stiff and so the various pressures from the different angles isn't really a problem. Um, but I just thought it would be even better if I could come up with a overload protection device so that if you pranged it uh, you wouldn't damage the internals of the probe. Okay so I've been designing and developing um, different versions of this uh, overload protection uh, stylus for the probe. That was my uh, uh, standard version which has uh, got no protection. This is the uh, successful device that has really good protection. Um, after many different designs. Um, I don't want to disclose at this stage how it actually works but let me just demonstrate it. Um, you can see it's it's perfectly rigidly uh, attached to the stylus hub um, but I'll just break it off now and you can see that the load is um, not sufficient to internally damage the probe. Turn around out of view, <laughs> secret squirrel stuff here. Now it's disconnected um, and I can connect it back up again in a, a few seconds, probably about a minute. And that's it connected back up again, ready to go. It's actually literally just um, a minute or so's work. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't really like the secret squirrel stuff, but just in case this is an invention that has got some legs. Um, uh, I suppose I should put a line in the sand and say today, Tuesday, the 20th of October. How can I establish that? I know with a cell phone. Here we go. Tuesday, 20th of October. This design, this drawing under here is a copyright design and of an overload protection device for a probe stylus. <laughs>